So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download your data from Kobo Toolbox in a format suitable for analysis in other um, analysis packages such as EpiInfo's Visual Dashboard. So I'm in um, this particular project here. I've got a form, a questionnaire which we have been using to um, collect data. And here is some of our data. So if you look on this first tab of reports, we can see lots of lovely analysis for the first part of our form, which is all at the household level, asking people if they have dogs, how many, whether they've been um, annoyed or troubled by dogs in the neighbourhood in the past month and what that complaint was. But unfortunately, this analysis, this, this report section does not include data from dogs within the household. So it doesn't show us those group of questions about household dogs. So we may need to uh, download this data and analyze it somewhere else. Um, so before I do that download, I just also want to tell you or show you that you can look at your data in this table format. So this is all the um, records that have been collected using this form. And should one of these records turn out to be um, a mistake and you want to delete it, know that you can open the record, you can edit the response to um, improve it, or indeed you can delete this submission entirely. So know that you can tidy up your data before you download it if you want to. So we're going to close that now and we're going to go to download. Now be careful to select not the XLS export type, but the XLS legacy. The reason to do that is that uh, for some reason, Kobo Toolbox, when you use just the plain XLS export type, will export your numerical data as text. Um, but if you use this XLS legacy, it will um, export the data, the numerical data as numbers. So always use this. Um, also, if you're going to use EpiInfo Visual Dashboard, you also want to open this Advanced Export and change this delimiter. Um, Visual Dashboard does not like backslashes, but it's perfectly happy with full stops, with dots. So you're going to change this to a dot and then ask to create export. And if we look here, we can see a pending as it's creating this Excel file for us from our data. And now it's finished creating that Excel file. You can click it and then it will open for you in Excel. And here is all our data. Enable, um, enable editing so you can, can do things with the data. So you can see these numbers are correctly in a number format. This is actually all the data from the household. You might want to rename that. A worksheet because it it turns out with a quite a confusing long name so create change that to household in this first worksheet and these are all the questions that we ask of each household about the the problems they've experienced with dogs in the past whether they are a um, a dog owner or not um, and then this worksheet has all the information about the household dogs so the name of the dog um, its age in um, years and in months. Okay, so that's how you export your data from Kobo Toolbox.